And Brad Brownell took the Tigers to the Sweet 16 last year. Clemson in the white, Lipscomb in the purple, and the Bisons have the ball to start. Lost to Kansas in the Sweet 16 after wins against New Mexico State and Auburn at the NCAA tournament. This is Cooper. Nice, nice rush on the floor that time. Did his season, but the Tigers made it all the way to the NCAA tournament. They will take that jumper. They uh, trailed him on that high screen and gave him a good look. First field goal of the game for the Tigers, racing right back to the rim, and it's by Trappel to drive. Tigers third. Here's that uh, offense to defense, good rush up the floor at that time. Nobody stopping the basketball. Took a look around just to see what his situation is. It's in South Carolina earlier today. We'll keep an eye open in case anybody trickles into the building. But the focus right now, Marquise Reed on a runner, Mike. He's going old school for two. He has 16 years as an assistant for Corey Alexander at Belmont. Out of the corner for three. Only his second field goal attempt of the game. So they're not even giving him touches. Reed. He's a, he's, a, he's a young man that can get down himself a little bit, too. He averages just over 19 points per game to lead the way for the Tigers and third best in the ACC. He and Kraft combined have 14 of the 15 points for the Tigers. And this is in Mar Marbury's are probably their, their best and most reliable low post player. And you see the, the pump fake. Uh, looks like Kevin McHale. If you add up the career totals of the entire roster, they are over 7,000 points. And there's Marbury going strong to the rim. Toward the baseline. He's got four now. Averages over 16 per game. That shot is good. Shelton Mitchell, who have not won in Durham since 1995. Turnover by Lipscomb to the rim. And the hammer, John Newman. Throw it out toward the midcourt line and don't complete it. And another turnover. Scara to the rim. Scara is fouled in the chance at the three-point play. Hold on to the basketball, please. Scara knocks that one away. He's got eyes for the rim. Scara! Chance at back-to-back -back three-point play. Field goal the tenth of the game because of all those turnovers. Thomas in a congested area, had it taken away as he shot, was deflected. Maybe forced that a little bit, and uh, off. Mitchell, wicked crossover. Can't finish it off. There's Thomas underneath, who had been 0 for 4 before that basket. National title in 2016, beat Alabama. 35-31 in Tampa, Florida. Newman thought about the shot. Now Thomas. Difficult shot. High degree of difficulty. And he can celebrate basket and foul. Shown a lot of persistence on the interior. Shot clock inside of 10. Matthews turned into the double team. Got away from it. And it drops for Garrison Matthews. Last year it was the MVP of that event. Won by the Bisons. Out of the corner. It's a three. Thank you very much. John Newman. Coach Brad Brownell in his ninth year and 17th overall. Long range. Reed's got it for three. Deflected away and taken by Jones. I say they're going to have to be almost perfect for the rest of the game. No look to Buckland. Thomas got back to knock it away and block the shot. Championship will be right down the road where Mike and I yep. call home. Charlotte, North Carolina, the Queen City. Metro Charlotte. Solid first half for Thomas. This is Reed. Free throw line. Vicinity for two. Nice use of the screen. 12 points in the first half for Marquise Reed. 2.42 to go in the half, and that is Matthews. Over from last night in that win. Not the usual crowd. The students aren't here. So this is a game you have to provide your own energy for and rely on your upperclassmen and Reed bringing that to them. With 14 points, and he leads everybody at that figure. He'll run the break. Go to his left. The layup is good. Trap. Wow. Coach Brownell may have a conversation with him after the game. Marbury up and under. Matthew 
Williams had it rejected from Thomas. He'll run an odd man break. Threading the pass is Reed, and Thomas has the jam. For Allen, he just, he took off on a dead sprint. Elijah Thomas goes 6'9", 245, and he could move. For game, Reed off the curl, had it swiped away. Kenny Cooper waits for reinforcements in the form of Marbury with the layup. And so he felt good about taking that shot because uh, of the hustle back down on the other end by Thomas. Matthews stepping into the three and hitting it. Cooper off the turnover against two defenders. Whistle and foul as Trapp tried to get back. And an 80% free throw shooter for the Tigers. Cooper off the glass. Tigers are in a game here in the second half after leading by 19 at halftime. Cooper. <laughs> Make it a five-point game. We've gone over four and a half minutes without a make until Scarra hits the three from the corner. Shot clock is down to five for Marquise Reed. Gotta shake Buckland. Slightly falling away, and it doesn't matter. He's ripping the ropes. There's one of nine teams for the ACC to go to the NCAA tournament. Newman missed. Sims did not. I don't know that the students will be back by January 5th, so it may, may not be the same Cameron you know, that, that they're used to. Time for maybe just one more run here. Scarra may put an end to those thoughts with a chance at a three-point play. And I think, you know, if they can keep that number there offensively, 13, you know, 12 to 14 points from him in conference. Moran. Boy, he's come in and given them a huge lift off the bench. His second three came over to challenge the attempt from Moran. Mitchell between the legs to Ribble up and in. Shelton Mitchell. Way down and out. Mitchell hits Scar. Lashing to the basket. Beautiful. The timing and delivery of the pass is so key and for Scar to not be able to even have to dribble. Wow. Marbury. Sims on his hip. Marbury wins the fight. He was 19 at halftime for the Tigers. Scar stepping back. Oh, what a big lift he's given him in the second half. You know, certainly his scoring, I think, is going to be a big key. 17 points for Scarra. Tried to get a piece of that shot from Fleming over the fingertips of Scarra for two. Scarra going to the rim and backing up for that most recent three, his second of the game. Comes out the trap. Tigers 9-3 and three on the season, 6-1 and one on their home court. Here at Little John Coliseum. Mitchell with the shot clock winding down, hitting the three, double digits, ten points. Shelton Mitchell. The three centuries. Haven't won at Duke since 1995. That's where they're headed on Saturday. Trap is headed to the rim. Getting out on the break. So 24 points for Reed is that one will fall. Factor in their conference for sure. To keep everybody healthy. Defending champs to the ace sun. This is Reed. Clear path to the rim. And it's a rim bender for Marquise Reed. It's going to be the 10th win of the season for the Clemson Tigers, who improved their record at home in Little John Coliseum to 7 and 1. Final count 84 67.